Hey guys, so just a quick uh, video of what we're working on here today. This is all done. Um, we had a little bit of trouble commissioning. It was our first time, but uh, so this is the Enphase Ensemble. These are the N charge batteries and we have two tens and then disconnect. And then we have a lumen panel down here, which uh, will, it's, what it does is basically when the grid goes down, it sheds the large loads. Um, so we have like their car charger and uh, 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 what is it, a hot tub on there and a couple other things. Um, and so when the, when the grid is down, uh, you have the option of turning those on, but, but when the grid first goes down, it just shuts them right off so they don't overload the batteries. Some really heavy duty insulation on these. Yeah. So here we got Donovan hooking up the smart switch. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. A lot going on out here. So then outside we have, we have the, uh, end phase combiner yeah, let's get that open so this has all the breakers from the uh, microinverters on the roof it also has the envoy and then there's a little wireless device in here that lets everything communicate together disconnect I didn't wire some of this it's uh, somebody else did I'm just opening the smart switch here the smart switch. So this has the auto transformer in here because the um, the batteries put out straight 240. So it's got an auto transformer. It's got an AC combiner breaker here, which is power coming in from over there, and then it's got the end charge breaker. Um, and these are also controlled by relays behind the uh, this load center here. So it's pretty cool how they do it. And so then grid comes in here, goes into the smart switch comes back out and goes to the house. The solar goes in here. Um, this is for the lumen panel. And then this one's for, uh, for the end charge batteries. So there it is. Just a quick update. I just wanted to uh, show you guys what we were working on. Um, this thing was a little bit too big, but it does work. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. So we are gonna be doing a bunch more systems like this. Um, We've kind of switched over, well, we're still doing a lot of Tesla power walls, but um, we've switched over to these. Uh, basically, it's a, it's a higher end battery, a little bit more expensive, um, but the difference is we can get them for one. Uh, for two, uh, it's got a lithium iron phosphate battery uh, instead of M NMC like the power walls. Um, and we also only install microinverters on our roof and ground mount systems. Uh, so this integrates seamlessly with those So yeah, thanks for watching guys and uh, I'll try to do a uh, full video on an installation of one of these uh, coming up here um, Wasn't able to on this last one though